Hi everyone, Emma here. I have the rest of my crystals from yesterday and I am doing this with my new tablet. So let's take a look and see how we like it. <laughs> um, I uh, This has autofocus. Uh, my, ta my other tablet had it as well, but um, it wasn't as sensitive. So this is, uh, and I apologize, the camera is on one side. So I'm learning to figure out where my hand positions are again. And I'm looking at these crystals. I love these. I think they call them cushion crystals. They are beautiful. Let's take a look. That is awesome. I cannot get over how gorgeous these are. So there's a, a pink. They have a bit of a, a different color in the middle that, that reflects. So I don't know if you can see that. Let me fix my light here. So it has a bit of a like an orangey color in the middle, orangey yellow, but oh my gosh, these are beautiful. This was a mix, so that's why you get like I have three pinks. Um, I think that that one down here is a khaki color, then a lavender, some purple, one green and two yellows. So I wanted to get an idea of what these were like. So they are really pretty. Um, you know, after looking at yesterday's, I think, like I just ordered a bunch of stuff and then I ordered um, the mixes to get an idea of these colors. But these crystals are really beautiful. I find when I get to the deeper colors that I definitely like those better. So I think from now going forward I will probably just order the very specific colors I want the odd time I do get colors that I'm so surprised by and really like so I mean it is worth it so here's one for example sorry this is the olivine and you can see you have like the in the background the olivine color or the um, kind of khaki color but if you look at the reflection that's coming off of it, it's these lovely blue colors. So, you know, this one I would not normally order, but having gotten a mix and seeing how beautiful it is. So this is a different size. This is a, where's my caliper? This is a 10 millimeter. And there's some pinks and yellow, purple, and let's take a look at the green, the light green, beautiful, beautiful. And there's the yellow again. So yeah, this blue is stunning. So yeah, you know, these, these colors here will be nice for spring and maybe doing some Easter themed colors so I'm looking forward to that I love those shapes so now these must be six they definitely look and again I apologize I'm learning where my hand placement needs to be these are so these are they're really beautiful they're still very shimmery and stuff um, they're definitely not what you would get, say, from um, Swarovski or any other of the Austrian crystals. But they're still lovely. Now, this mix is really nice. Let me turn this one over. So look at that one there. Wow, that is beautiful. That is lovely. And the purple. 
Oh, this is annoying. There, let's see if we can keep that locked in. Beautiful. So, there we go. Then we have these diamond shapes. I am not sure what they call this shape, but these are gorgeous, nice, deep. And this is what I was saying about the deeper colors. That is beautiful. And they have the gold foil on the back, so it's reflecting a deeper color. And it has a different color in the middle as well. So these are beautiful. This looks like a lavender. Yes. Oh my. These are lovely. Let's see if we can turn some over so you can see them. Look at that. They are beautiful. They don't seem to sparkle as much as the others. Let's see if I adjust my light. No. They're still really beautiful. And this is the one with the gold on the back. Well, I guess it's That would be considered the back there. And then this here is the gold. So it's hard to really get this from the camera. And these ones. And then we have like an orange color and again these ones have that different color in the middle like a pinky fuchsia color these are beautiful they're really amazing wow you can see so you can see the sparkly of these guys they are lovely I'm going to turn my light, my key light out to see if there's much of a difference with this camera. Let's see if it'll adjust. That is weird. So it won't change. It won't adjust while I'm recording. But when I was setting up, I tested it with both the light and without. And it actually adjusted it at the beginning so you could almost see. So I'll have to do another video without the light and see. Because that might help me to get my arms around the camera. But the other thing is I'm going to have to buy... Oh, there's a loose... There's a scraggler. That's one of those guys, I think. Yeah. Um, there's a special stand for tablets. I didn't realize you could buy them. But when we were reviewing this tablet, I saw the guy, the reviewer, had one. So there's this kind of like a, a light um, topaz color. And this is the foil on the back. So this is beautiful. And I have multiple packs of these, but I just opened one. And these are lovely they're gorgeous so they're like a rainbow and they are sparkly you can see and you can see the foil on the back of these guys but they are beautiful you can see it reflecting on my fingers yeah. that's creating a shadow hmm it's trying to get figure out what the camera does and because the camera is over here on the tablet um, it's very strange because normally the tablet tablet there's my finger the tablet is up here so it looks that way 
this it's over here so it looks this way it's weird tmi right <laughs> I heard on the radio the other day we were in the car and they were talking, yeah, check me out on Insta. <laughs> like, oh my God. So I started saying to my wife, totes, totes, go to my Insta. These are incredible. <gasps> Wowzer. These are beautiful. They look, um, on camera here they look like really really pinky orange and they definitely look like that here in real life but the edges are super um, like a goldy color so you can kind of see right in that spot there the edge is more yellow than than gold than like this fuchsia color that's coming out it's just beautiful that's probably one of my favorites and you got to picture this too in a bracelet or on a bead weaving project so then these are lovely oh my gosh wow <laughs> You know what? I cut the bags and opened them so that I wouldn't be doing it on camera because it's hard on my hand too. And I, so I've seen these, <laughs> but I'm still, I'm like, oh my god, look at it. These are incredible. They have to be polished. You can see kind of the from touching them and stuff and rubbing here. Let's see if this comes off because I don't. If in case it's um. It's been uh, scraped, so I'll have to wet it, maybe. So that one looks like it's been scratched almost. So I am going to have to go through these one by one and maybe do a dispute. Yeah, so that one looks like there's something wrong with the finish. But I will wipe them down and see if I can... Straighten them out. They are beautiful. Is that the same one? No, these are a deeper. Yeah, these are different, like a slightly deeper topaz color. They are incredible. They are so beautiful. So I'm finding already, I'm finding my spot on my mat, so that's good. I actually have the camera on an angle, so it'll be interesting when we look at the video what it looks like, because um, I turned my mat on an angle as well. So really this would be straight, so you can see the line up here and then the line down here for the camera. If you do that, it kind of gives you the idea that maybe it's in the right spot. And maybe if I sit off to the side, there, that is beautiful. So these, I'm not sure the color of these, but they are really pretty. And they, they sparkle a lot too. I am, um, when I was looking these up on my account, I was... <laughs> I ordered a bunch of these guys from different stores, so you're going to see a few of these guys. These are stunning. I would definitely recommend these ones. They are beautiful. So these are going into bracelets. So at some point, like, I'm going to start doing a whole slew of different design bracelets that I'm going to sell. So that's why I'm stocking up on this. Right now, there's really not a lot we can do with COVID, um, except maybe sell online. So, oh, these are beautiful. And these guys. Now, when I was opening the bag on one of these, one of them was, the corner was chipped, but 
I don't see it here. These are lovely. So they have the fuchsia purplish color in the middle and they're kind of orangey color. These are extraordinary. They are beautiful. And you can see, look, the, that reflection is perfect. Like there's not even any fingerprints on it. These are lovely. Favorites, favorites coming up. Oh my gosh. Oh, these I saved near the end for my friend Kathleen because she loves this color. She's going to love it. Looky, looky. These are pretty. I think purple's her fit one of her favorite colors. These are gorgeous. Oh, I cannot get over how sparkly they are. I'm just looking to see if this is the chip one. I don't know. Oh my god. So I saved these for the end. <laughs> And that is why I saved them for the end. Holy moly, these are beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there is a chip in this one. You can see there's like a little divot out of it. But the one that I saw, a whole corner was off. And you can kind of see in the bag, there's a little speck. But I think once you bezel that, it's not going to make a difference. I want to give you an idea. Wow, these are beautiful. Let's see if we can. Oh, look at that. Wow. So it's kind of, the color is almost blown out on this. So I'll have to see if I can adjust my colors for my, um, video settings there there is a way to adjust it so i'll do that but it won't let you do it while you're filming but so i might leave these out to test it because the color is blown out but on here i get dark blue in the middle and purple a dark purple on the edge but it's getting blown out here so let's see if i can so we'll leave those there and then we have these tiny ones oh my gosh these are gorgeous so these are is a match to so you know what on the screen they look purple but now when I have them on the mat they these ones in particular look teal color like a dark dark teal so yeah i'm gonna have to adjust the colors on this so yeah these are actually blue not purple so we'll put those there too and we'll test my camera on those guys and then last but not least and I am getting ready to do a challenge with Annalise and I think her new channel name is called Wearing Stone. I will uh, let you know, but we're going to do a challenge together. She's going to challenge me to a beading bracelet and I'm going to challenge her to a cuff, leather cuff bracelet. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming up in a day or two. So we'll see how quickly we get that in. It may end up being the weekend before we post it. Because I think we're going to try and get them so we post at the same time. So that if you see one of the videos, then you can go to the other one and see what the other person did. So these are beautiful. They The colors look exactly the way they are in uh, on the video. So these are the tiny purple one so there you go thank you so much for hanging in there and uh, being my um, test for my new tablet and the video and 
and we'll have some amazing videos to come. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.